thank you, the organizer, for the possibility to talk in this meeting. <coughs> it's based on a joint work with Giuseppe Zapala from the University the uh, Universidade de Catania. Uh, let me tell some words about the left search property. The left search properties are algebraic abstractions inspired by hard left search theorem on cohomology rings of smooth projective varieties. And these, uh, those pro properties are connected to several different uh, subjects in commutative algebra and algebraic geometry and combinatorics. And I'm going to talk in, in the border of these three branches of mathematics. The motivation comes from uh, a paper of Migliori Nagel, uh, where they posed two conjectures about the Gornstein algebras presented by Quadricus. In this paper, they studied the Hilbert vector of these algebras and posed two conjectures that uh, the first mo mo uh, that exists an element on the first degree such that the first mul multiplication map is injective, and the second conjecture, there exists a, such a uh, L that all the multiplications from AK to AK plus one is uh, of maximum rank for all K. Uh, this is called a weak left sets property, and the uh, strong left sets property is the is weak left sets property is that in any multiplication from AI to AI plus K of a power of K exists such a K in A1, uh, L in A1. A1, such that this uh, has maximum rank for all K and I, this, this strong left set property. The fact uh, the they are wrong, both of them, and I will construct a series of counterexamples uh, from a combinator point of view. Uh, Okay, the setup. K is a field of characteristic zero. Both conjectures were posed in characteristic zero, so K is a field of characteristic zero, any field. A is an, a standard graded K algebra, so the variables with degree one. E is, is an Artinian homogeneous ideal generated by quadratic forms. In this case, the Gorenstein condition is equivalent to Poincaré duality, so it's very close to original problem, uh, the, the real uh, uh, left set theorem. Poincaré duality in this sense, uh, the last degree uh, part of A is just K, and the pairing given by multiplication is perfect. So we have this duality, Poincaré duality. In particular, the Hilbert vector of A is a symmetric vector. In this setup, A is called the call dimension of A, and D, the last grade, uh, the circle degree. Um, a strong left set property obviously implies weak left set property. 
and it's easy to see that it implies unimodality of Hilb of the Hilbert vector. It means uh, there is no violence. Uh, the Hilbert vector is something like that, unimodal. Uh, I'm gonna, we, sh we showed that this is not true, so uh, that's the point. Okay, the construction is Algebraic and combinatoric. The, from the algebraic point of view, we consider R a polynomial ring, Q the ring of differential operators. So R is a Q model with this identification. The small letters, the small variables are just polynomial rings. Uh, the, 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 the capital ones, the differential operators. Uh, we call the annihilator of a form in R, the annihilator in Q, the differential forms that kills the form. Uh, the the Macaulay-Maltley's duality or the theory of inverse systems shows that there is a bijection between homogeneous ideals of R and graded R submoles of Q and it's just to take annihilators and inverse systems. So, an Artinian ideal gives us a, a Gorenstein, a Gorenstein quotient, if and only if it is the annihilator of a single form F. It comes from Macalimatli's duality. Now we can, is, uh, we, <laughs> we start to study the geometry of this F to impose algebraic conditions on the, on the algebra. Um, okay. The F we, we, we use is uh, B-graded. So the algebra the same, the same kind of uh, bijection also works for bi-homogeneous ideals and bigraded algebras. So if you take F bigraded, the, the algebra becomes bigraded in this way. And these guys we, we call suckle B by, by degree of A. The sum is the suckle degree. The duality, the Poincaré duality uh, uh, is compatible with the by graduation, so we got this uh, uh, this duality. And now R will be the polynomial ring in n plus n variables. Q the associated ring of differential operators. And the kind of form we will use is this kind of by degree one, d minus one. That came from the theory of Gordon, Ether, and Perazzo, forms with Vanishing Hessian. Um, uh, I will study the, the cases where the j, g, g i's are monomials, and I call f of monomial square free type monomials. Square free monomials, um, the by degree one d minus one, the codimension is the number of variables n plus n. Uh, the first example of uh, now, the, the combinatorics came from the, the monomial G, G, Gs. So the first example came from uh, geometry. If you take the Segre, in P8, and, and I think this P8 
as a prioritization of three by three matrix. So the locus of Segre are the matrix of rank one. And if you take the, the secant variety of the Segre, secant of Segre, the locus of matrix of rank at most two, because the join of two rank one matrix uh, are, are, are matrix of rank uh, at most two. So it is just the determinant. because we got three, three by three matrix. I call this Y. And now, if you take the hyper, the hyper plane given by X80 equals to zero, it's a tangent, uh, uh, it's tangent to the secant of the segre. And in this P7, Y, which is given by the determinant um, is, uh, is a, a form with vanishing Hessian. Vanishing Hessian implies, implies the, 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 the failure of the strong left set property. I don't, know, I, I don't have time to explain it. But we can encode these, change the, the names of variables. It's possible to, to, to give a, a, a combinatorial description of this example. So we can change the variables. It is uh, equivalent to this one, x1. Let me put in this way, u1, u2, u3, u4, x1, x2, x3, x4. Uh, I, I'm encoding this way. Uh, the x1, u1, u4, uh, u2, x1, uh, u1, u2, plus x2, u2, u3, plus x3. This is the form. Is, is this, this the same form? And now we can generalize. Uh, this example, if you take a look uh, in this example, this example uh, is a counterexample for the, the, the conjecture. But we want to generalize this example. Now, not always will be a graph. So in general, in degree three, by degree one, two, we, we got a, gra a graph. But in general, we got a simplicial complex in the same way. The name of facet is given by all the, the variables that appears in the monomial J, Ji, which is uh, together of the, 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 the Xi. That's what I'm going to explain. And now we, we have a, a dictionary, combinatorics, the, the simplicial complex, algebra, the form, which is by Jackson, if you, if you got the simplicial complex, you, you produce the, 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 the form and vice versa, and the geometry. Oh, the geometry. <laughs> the algebra and you can think in any any anyway uh, in this talk I, I will show you that the combinatorics 
uh, determines the algebraic properties of A. The vertex is zero skeleton. The first skeleton is like a graph. Uh, of course, in x1, u1, u2, if we take the derivatives f, derivative, I will write in this way too. Capital letters like uh, operators. It's 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 just the the edge, the derivative, with respect to 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 any variable of the edge. It's just the the other the, the, the two vertices of the edge. And now it's possible to understand the annihilator of this f from a combinatorial point of view. Uh, Okay, notation, that's what uh, I'm talking about. The first result is that uh, if you start with uh, any simplicial complex, homogeneous of pure dimension d minus two, I call d minus two because uh, the by degree is one, d minus one, so d minus one vertex uh, gives a simplicial complex of dimension d minus two. So d minus two. The algebra is completely uh, uh, described by the, the uh, combinatorial data. And I will show this example. The, the algebra, the first part of the algebra has a k basis given by, it was generated by x1, x4, u1, u4. The second part of the algebra has two pieces in by degrees, a02, a11. The a, uh, this one is generated by U1, U2, U2, U3, U4, U1. And this part is generated by X1, U2, which is equal to, if you, if you take the derivative with respect to X1 and U2, we get U1 which is the same that x4, u4. And it's the, 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 the theorem gives a description of the, the algebra and the ideal. The ideal is generated by the squares of the x variables. The minimal known faces of the simplicial complex, in this case, the minimal known face are this, this one. So U2, U4, and U3, U1. Uh, the monomials X, I, F, I. For example, X1, U4 belongs to the annihilator because when you take the derivative with respect to X1, you do not have uh, U4, and you can see it from the graph, from the simplicial complex. And, e also, and, and, and also, this uh, difference when we have, mm -hmm. this difference also uh, uh, belongs to the annihilator. And we have no time, so uh, we construct a uh, a special kind of complex, which are like uh, a complete graph, and we put all the, the facets in this, in, in this way. I call it the Turan complex. And for this kind of complexes, uh, they are always uh, present, presented by quadrics. 
and the, the Hilbert vector is like that. In this case, if you put 100, 100, 100 of vertex, the Hilbert, the Hilbert vector will be one, uh, the, the first, uh, the, uh, no, one, two, three, and it can be read from the combinatorics, the symmetric functions of these guys uh, determines the Hilbert function. We have no time to explain, but it, it's impossible to get injectivity even on the first and the first multiplication because it's not unimodal. That's the point. <laughs>